Season 1 Reloaded from Modern Warfare 2 is in 10 days, and there's one thing that's really struck me as odd about what we know so far. While some answers are likely going to be revealed in the upcoming days leading to the final countdown into the Season 1 Reloaded update, I wanted to take a speculative look today and discuss it, how there's the possibility for more to Season 1 Reloaded than we may think. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. Do you think we'll get some surprise additions here to Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and DMZ with this Reloaded update, or do you think what we have previewed already is all we're going to be seeing for the entirety of the season? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below but if you enjoy the video you find it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button instead of with all things modern warfare 2 warzone 2 and dmz we're chasing down 600,000 subscribers so if you'd like to join the community i'd love to have you and finally check out my friends over at g fuel code espresso get you 20 percent off your order it's a great time for a restock or to get a stocking stuff or gift for the holidays but anyways let's talk about the possibility that there may be more in season one reloaded than we may anticipate Firstly, let's just put this out there. This is speculative. We're examining some precedents set prior, sure, but nothing's really spelled out for us right now in clues that point towards this being fact. Yet, at least. Hear me out though, because when we compare this to prior incidents, as well as what's still upcoming that we know of is going to be coming in Modern Warfare 2, it's not the most crazy theory. This idea is born out of the notion that we have an extended second half of the season, likely due to the holidays here and the two weeks or so that the staff will be off for Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and other observing holidays here, as well as New Year's. But with how much we saw introduced at the season's launch, what we have left over for the mid-season update seems too low, kind of underwhelming. So what do we know is coming with the season one reloaded update? As we detailed in a video, the the other day, our first look at Season 1 Reloaded, we know of things like the Chimera Assault Rifle, a reintroduction of the map of shipment, two new operators of Klaus and Gaz, as well as a new and our first raid for Spec Ops. But that's it. That's all that we have explicitly spelled out for us in the Season 1 roadmap from launch. So when you consider that to the Season 1 launch, we saw the introduction of a whole new major mode of Warzone 2 with Warzone Battle Royale and DMZ on a brand new map and world, new multiplayer weapons, a map, a battle pass, a new Spec Ops experience, and so on, five individual items, two of them being paid introductions here, not even rolled out entirely at launch. One will be delayed by two weeks since that's how they roll out operators normally. The upcoming Season 1 Reloaded update seems to be rather underwhelming in the content department, right? So while I fully acknowledge it's maybe a 50-50 coin flip, maybe even let's lean 40-60 or 30-70 on the odds of there being more than just what we've seen so far, just so I'm not getting my hopes or your hopes up, what's the chance that there is more? What if there is more to Season 1 Reloaded than we anticipated? Now, this actually could make sense because the time frame is a little off. It's not an even four weeks and four weeks like we normally see with seasons in the COD franchise. Launch to mid-season is four weeks, mid-season to season two is six weeks, so two weeks longer than most with season two kicking off on February 1st right now. But what's interesting is this is also way less content than most seasons that we've seen in the past. So what gives? Well, if we're hoping for more content than what is already detailed, there actually is a precedent here at this. Cold War is that hopeful mark that I always refer back to when it comes to surprise content additions. Season 1 for Cold War was, as well, pretty stacked up front. A launch 2.0, if you want to call it that, for Cold War, which we've also said was kind of what Season 1 was for Modern Warfare 2 with Warzone 2 and the additions to the game that we saw. But with Cold War Season 1, we saw the introduction of Rebirth Island to Warzone, we saw the entire integration of Cold War weaponry, operators, and a ranking system to the existing existing wars and experience on Verdansk. We saw a new Gulag, we saw two new weapons introduced up front, three new operators, four gunfight maps as gunfight was being introduced with Season 1, which we'll touch on that here in a second as a parallel, three 6v6 maps of The Pines, Nuketown Holiday, and Raid, Sanatorium was saved but previewed for later in the season, new modes, a new vehicle and score streak, and then of course a new battle pass that comes along with every single season. The in-season stuff that was detailed from that initial launch roadmap was a weapon of the Street Sweeper shotgun, two operators, both paid four items, a fire team map, let's just say MP map for comparison's sake, a new multiplayer mode, and two zombies modes. So seven individual items for a mid-season update. Kind of sounds familiar, right? With very little upcoming. But then, the week before that launch of the mid-season update, we got a new and updated roadmap that showed quite a bit more. We had those items, but then we also had a bit more on top of it. We saw introduced to the brand new roadmap was a full-fledged zombies map, an additional weapon in the way of a melee weapon, another 6v6 map of Express added into the fold, the confirmation of League Play coming a few weeks after the launch of that mid-season update, I think it was like two after that, multiple new Warzone playlists, and new multiplayer playlists. So while it wasn't a major upheaval and a crazy introduction on the scale of that Season 1 launch, the mid-season seasons never are, it certainly was a lot more than initially shown off. 
We had six additional categorical, 12 individual, if you want to count all the modes as one, new items that we didn't know of at the launch of that season one, doubling the offering that we were expecting back then. So what's to say that doesn't happen again with Modern Warfare 2, a game that has reportedly had three years of uninterrupted development time that made a billion dollars in the first, what, like five days of its launch or something like that? So the stakes on this are definitely higher. The expectations definitely higher for better or for worse than they were for Cold War and certainly more than Vanguard. So is it possible? Well, there's the precedent that it could happen. But then again, as a cautious optimistic, I will have to warn, well, what if it doesn't? It's fun to think about and I'd be all for it, but on the opposite side of that coin, Cold War was the outlier. That season one was the only game and only season to have done that to my recollection, or at least to the degree that we had seen since then, doubling the offering that we knew about. And with a clear lack of a zombies mode or equivalent mode that garners such development, we don't have any shroud of mystery on when that next map will be coming. Spec Ops, while important for raids and such, and of course fun for those that enjoy it, it's not something that I think will ever foster the same sort of faithful community on a large scale that zombies did. So that said, coming back to it, I think it's a 50-50, maybe even downwards of like a 30-70 odds that we do see this happen. But just for theory's sake, what kind of stuff could we see here coming if we do get any surprise content? One of the big ones that I definitely think would be plausible would be a ground war map. I mean, we saw the introduction of Al Mazra with Warzone 2 and DMZ, and of course we already have sections of that map cut out for existing ground war maps, but we haven't seen any love just yet for additional content for ground war. And while my ignorance to game dev is of course apparent here, I'm sure there's a little more to it than just simply cutting out a portion of Al Mazra and making it its own singular map. I mean, that's in theory what we can do here at this ground war map. We have the whole map of Al Mazra. Maybe we can just take a couple of different sectors and make them ground war maps here, starting with one with a mid-season update. Additionally, I would hope we see another 6v6 map. While we don't have much here to work with in regards to solid ground and footing, I do think about this prospect often because what we have for our very first season of introductions with Modern Warfare 2, we had two multiplayer maps and neither of them were a unique or new map on offer. And again, Two maps? We've said it before, but Vanguard's two maps per season was a franchise low in regards to pacing and content distribution post-launch, but that perhaps had some weight and meaning behind it. An explanation as to why we didn't quite understand at the time, because if they are indeed as rumored working on the 2023 major expansion to Modern Warfare 2, they would have to go all hands on deck right after shipping Vanguard, meaning that most of their staff would be working on that next project, and a very small amount by comparison working on Vanguard's post-launch stuff. So that would at least explain why Vanguard had the least amount of content, but Modern Warfare 2, that shouldn't be an issue in theory. So why have we only seen two multiplayer maps listed for this entire season. Additionally, I expect some sort of weaponry here to be added on top of what we know about with the Chimera. The melee weapons, we haven't seen anything introduced on this front just yet, and we normally see at least one, maybe two melee weapons a season introduced, and not having had one just yet, I'm definitely expecting something to be thrown in the mix here as a challenge or something that we can see a little later on down the line. Ranked play is another thing that is definitely a possibility here at this, because just like in Cold War, we have that mosh pit right now to tide us over, but we don't have a specific date or announcement for when League play will be coming, rather just that we know it will be coming. This was something that back in Cold War, it was announced that we would see ranked play at some time within Cold War, we just didn't know when, and then of course it was dropped as a surprise in-season update, announced via that roadmap ahead of the Season 1 Reloaded launch. Now, what we do know about Modern Warfare 2's ranked play is that Treyarch confirmed they will be working on a ranked play that will be coming in 2023 with competitive modes, skill divisions, visible skill ratings, a top 250 leaderboard, competitive rewards, and more to come. So while hearing 2023 is maybe a little bit weird, and of course it opens that door for, well, we don't have a month, like if you were to give us to the end of 2022 that we'd work with, we instead have 12 months of a window that that could fall in, but I wouldn't worry. Chances are it's a late season one, early season two introduction for Modern Warfare 2. If you're the CDL, if you're Activision, you don't want to miss out on that wave of competitive interest with a season kickoff. And with that finishing up as of today, the first weekend of the new season, you want to have it sometime soon. And of course, with Major 1 coming up here in just a couple of weeks, you also don't want to miss out on that wave as well. So 2023, if it's January, it could absolutely be a candidate for surprise content here within Season 1. And then finally, the last thing that I think is a potential, but maybe of what we've discussed so far, the least likely is Gunfight. This is one that I find incredibly interesting because you can scour the internet and not really find anything definitive, not just about when this would release, but about anything in regards to it at all. 
Back in June, myself and other creators were either at Infinity Ward or, like me, part of a larger Zoom call to get some early details on the makeup of Modern Warfare 2 before the game was even revealed. We learned about the setting, tech specs, a little bit about multiplayer and such, but Gunfight was brought up in some of that discussion in regards to modes, but they said that it would be coming post-launch, not at launch. But that was the extent of it. Infinity Ward has quite literally never mentioned it again on record, and even what we were told was only stated by those that were attending those meetings or there in person. Infinity Ward has never once mentioned Gunfight with Modern Warfare 2, though it was also later reported by insiders that it could be coming with Season 1, but we haven't yet heard or seen anything leak about it, so what gives? It's possible it could be a surprise introduction here at Season 1, but with so little mentioned on it, Maybe that's a bit too hopeful of a guess. But for now, that's what we're gonna call it. That is my thoughts here on it. I just wanted to bring you this discussion because looking at what we have upcoming, it's certainly weird that we see something so top heavy in the season, but also with a longer season date than what we've seen previously. So the part of my mind that always wants to try and figure out what's next, that wants to unravel some mystery that might not even be there, that's something that got me thinking about, well, what if there is more? So, that said, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think we'll see anything in regards to that Season 1 Reloaded update, extending that content offering? Do you think what we see right now is all we'll have? What are the case? Drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, if you found it out on Insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD-related. For now, though, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care, and peace.